This is going to be a quick video about the geometric mean. The geometric mean is a special type of an average. Just like the arithmetic mean is an average, the geometric mean is an average where we multiply numbers together and then we take the square root for two numbers or the cube root for three numbers or the fourth root for four numbers, etc. So, for example, if I had the numbers two and four, to find the geometric mean, I would multiply those two numbers together, and then I would take the square root of that number. And I'm going to either answer in a decimal or simplest radical form, depending on what I'm being asked to do. Now, if I had three numbers, say two, four, and six, to find the geometric mean of these, I'd multiply all three of them together. And then I would take, in this case, not the square root, because I have three numbers, I would take the cubed root of that. And again, I would answer in either a decimal or simplest radical form. Now, the reason that we're learning this right now is because with the special right triangles that we're working with here, or the similar, sorry, similar right triangles that we're working with here, when you drop that altitude h in a right triangle, triangle to the hypotenuse, what you have done is um, A is to H in the same ratio as H is to B. Now we've been learning about this as corresponding sides, but it's also the geometric mean. If you multiply these, you will see that H squared equals A times B, so H really is the square root of those two uh, sides A times B. So, let's try this. If I have this uh, similar right triangle, I could say 12 is to H in the same ratio as H is to 16. Uh, cross multiply and I'd get that H squared equals 192. Take the square root of both sides and I would either answer in simplest radical form or as a decimal depending on what I'm being asked. So if this is easier than doing corresponding parts, go for it. Now, I am going to ask you to calculate the geometric mean of two numbers. I'm not going to go over two numbers. So to do that, you're just going to multiply the numbers together and then you're going to take the square root of that number. So I would like you to try one of these and then you're going to be ready for your homework. What is the geometric mean of 5 and 15? So pause your video, do that, and then come back and see if you get the same thing that I do. Pause your video now. Okay, now hopefully you multiplied those together, took the square root of it, and you should have either gotten 5 square root of 3 or 8.66 depending on whether you answer it as a decimal or simplest radical form. I think you are ready to start your assignment.